screen. Hey, everybody, uh, we are here. This is the Basecamp Champs Call. It's such a pleasure to take the time here today to talk about licensing Basecamp and how it helps indie artists, songwriters, and producers to find success in sync, as well as creative fulfillment in their careers. And we thought, what better way to talk about it than to hear from our Basecamp Champs, some of our star students and absolute favorite human beings. Let's go through now. And I'd love to kick things off to have like the 15 second elevator pitch from each of you, the who you are, what you do. And uh, let's start with Ty. Hey, my name is Ty Avery. I'm from Shreveport, Louisiana. Uh, I'm a hip hop artist um, looking to just burn it up in the sync world. Already having great success. Awesome. Welcome. Alisa, you want to go next? Yeah, Alisa Cher, uh, a.k.a. A. Larray. Um, I am a producer, writer, um, artist, and um, specialize in female empowerment stuff. Oh, yeah. And Gabrielle, how about you? Want to introduce yourself? Sure. Hi, I'm Gabrielle Taron. I am a singer, songwriter, artist, top liner, um, mostly pop, but with some soul. That's right. Mary Haller, how about you? Hey, I'm a songwriter, top liner based in the Boston area. Uh, my strengths are top line solo writing, working with emerging indie artists, and I'm just a few years into um, sync licensing. I'm coming from a background in writing for Nashville commercial country market and in um, public relations for um, arts administration. So I'm loving being here and I'm learning every day. Killing it, like everybody here. Raul, talking about killing it. How are you doing? Hello, hello. I'm Raul Vargas from Madrid, Spain, based in San Francisco. Uh, artist, producer, songwriter. I'm doing mostly Latin fusion stuff, Latin world fusion stuff. Happy to be here with you all. Amazing work. And last but not least, Mo Lochran, how you doing? I'm great. I am so happy to be here with you guys. I'm so honored to be here. Um, I'm Nashville-based uh, vocal coach and artist developer with several labels in town, um, working in film and TV music for the last decade and have had several placements, probably around now around 70 placements. To Indy definitely brought me into the light um, for additional ways to get those placements. So I'm grateful. Amazing. And we're so grateful. And it's such a pleasure to share this stage as it were on Zoom with all of you. Uh, again, you're some of our favorite human beings on the planet. So thanks for taking some time here to share some insights on your music career. Uh, we'll dive in with some questions here. And it, with this you know, these are open ended uh, and whoever feels compelled to answer, just feel free to unmute yourself and, and we can all take turns and kind of go around as long as uh, it feels like uh, there's there's like still some things to say about it. But perhaps we could start off with just the basic question. What is sync? What does it mean? What does sync mean to you? Who wants to jump in on that? Uh, I'll jump in. Sync to me uh, means the opportunity to get um, your song take your songs from just being a song to be streamed to actually being so songs on the big screen. So songs and ad and film, like it's super exciting. Who'd add to that? Anybody want to add to that? I think a lot of times people think sync has to be a divergent from the artist. And I don't think that has to be at all. I think it just has to be a small shift, lyrical content, and that's it. I think you can be who you are in the space that you're in, whether it's rock, pop, hip hop, uh, orche orchestrated uh, uh, jazz, whatever it is that you want to do, but you just have to shift it a little bit um, in the lyric content and you, everybody's welcome at the table. Love it. Yeah. Collaboration, opportunity, potential for millions of people to see on screen and hear your music, uh, what's going on? Is there anybody? I anybody? love how you highlight there, ev like everybody's welcome because there's not an age limit. There's not like a geographical limit. There's not, you need to only write pop music or you only can create music like this. Like everyone is welcome. And that's one of the best things, you, you know, every person on this call is located somewhere else besides Mo and, and John are both in 
Nashville, but we're all over and, and like everybody is welcome and we're all different ages and we all have different backgrounds and we all, you know, we all came here from different places and um, it is, it really is just like uh, open and welcoming and you don't have to be like a certain size or a certain location to make it work. I, I can piggyback off of that just by saying, um, you know, growing up, I, I was performing and doing all sorts of stuff, went to college in Miami, then lived in Manhattan, then lived in Los Angeles, now I'm on the seacoast in New Hampshire and I didn't think I'd be able to continue doing music the way I am. And really during the pandemic, when so many things went remote um, and I learned about Sync more, I'd been doing a little bit of submitting to different TV film things, but didn't realize that this was a whole world of opportunity that was available um, to make my own connections and like John and Sonnet, I mean, it's just amazing what they've shown me that exists. And here I am in the seacoast of New Hampshire, and I have some placements up, coming up um, on TV um, in the next few months through the end of the year. Um, it's 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 incredible. It's amazing. So yeah. Oh, and 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 I am now producing for artists all around the world, which I never ever ever could have imagined like here I am in my my little studio thinking you know I'm just doing that producing because I want to make sure I can get my own stuff done and then I have fallen in love producing for other people just because I just love this community and this world of writing for a purpose like I get up in the morning and I'm like what can I get done today in fact I can even say Mo called me this morning. It was a very early morning. I couldn't sleep. She apparently couldn't sleep. It was what time? Like 5.30 your time? Six, six. Okay. And um, she called and she said, someone needs something. Um, you know, do you think you'd, you'd have time to do this? And she wasn't saying today. She was just saying by like the second week in June. And I was up early and yes, I had other things I was supposed to be doing, but I already finished the production for her. So I was that excited about it. I was like, yep, done. I never would have thought I'd do anything like that in a million years until like a few years ago and working with you guys. So it's been incredible. It's amazing. It's that driven sense of purpose and it, the opportunities and the collaboration and the connection. It's just, it's, it's amazing to see. Uh, it, it really is. And it's special. Like these are, these are potentially lifelong friendships, lifelong relationships. And I can say for, you know, Sonnet and I are a great example of that. Like we met in a series of sync workshops and here we are many, many years later having collaborated. And now we run a huge licensing community. And it's just, this is, this is the family of sync. This is the connection that is possible. And it's amazing to hear, hear just the stories from everybody about this. Love it. Hey, maybe we could uh, roll back. The, so we talked about like, what is sync and what does it mean to you? But perhaps we could talk about like, well, where were you in your music career? Like two years ago, what were some of the challenges you were facing in taking your next steps forward? Did you know what the next steps forward that you needed to take were back then? Would love to hear from a couple of people on that. Shoot, I don't know. I'm, I've probably been said, somebody probably else want to turn, but um, this has definitely been life changing for me. I'm talking about going from getting my beats off of YouTube and, and not even leasing them, not knowing what I can do with those tracks to actually having like fully produced tracks that's like, I never would have thought that this is the type of music that I was going to be making. I'm talking about like, well, I can sit my song next to some of the greats and be like, yeah, bro, I might be a little bit better than you on this. <laughs> and so um, it's, it all started with this journey. Like I'm talking about, like I sit and sometimes think like November was like, bro, like that literally just happened. And so much didn't happen since then. It's like it's going from, a simple technician to the the beginning of a superstar so I'm like this journey has been like and it's I, I still to this day don't even feel like it didn't start for me yet and it all started with two indies so I'm like forever grateful super grateful the, um going from making um tracks that's like super wordy that's like deviating from a, a specific plan or purpose not too specific but 
being able to be used universally, not be having boundaries, but still maintaining that great core. I'm talking about like this, making music for sync is not just like, um, like was previously stated, it's not just making it for sync. It's the ability to make universal timeless tunes, like stuff that don't have any caps or boundaries. So I'm super, it's uh, where I was, was, I don't even know where I was. I was like the many millions of people who who just post a song on YouTube and that's it. Now it's like getting royalties and placements and signings and like, man, it's been amazing. That's incredible. That's incredible. It, it just your growth and acceleration with all this has just been so impressive to watch. And it's been just such a pleasure to, to see how you are. It, it just find more and more excitement around it. It's just the, and that can be a thing too, that I've found with sync that once you fight, start to find some success, you find some people to work with and run with, then it really gets exciting. It gets exciting. Cause then it's like, Oh, what's next? What's next? You're, you're, you're hungry and you're wanting to keep getting better. And that's uh that's a big part of it. Then you start getting signings, you start getting sinks. And, uh, and then that kind of it, 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 in a way it feeds back that you're on the right path that you're doing what it was you were put on this earth to do. And I just love hearing it from, from you, Ty. And we'd love to hear, you know, just similarly, like, is there any, anybody else here that would like to talk about, you know, just where things were a couple of years ago in terms of their music career and maybe some of the challenges you were facing uh, kind of moving forward in your music career? Yeah, I'll talk about it. Awesome. Um yeah, I mean, I have a somewhat similar story to Elisa where I lived in New York and I lived in LA and then I moved back home to where I'm from in Philadelphia and I thought that was the end. I thought that was the end of my career because I was so used to being in a studio and even when I lived in LA, it was always a challenge to find a producer and find collaborators. Um, so I thought that was it. And I moved home and finally, you know, got all the equipment that I needed and learned how to record from home. And then joining Two Indie, finding collaborators was a dream. It was a piece of cake because you have all these people who have common goals. So writing continuously for, for sync, I mean, you're still writing and being authentic to who you are as an artist, but the briefs that you're given just give you the chance to build your catalog full of these songs that are always needed in the sync world. So it's just so helpful and I've never made music this fast before. Um, so yeah, a couple years ago, all my music was really, really old. And you know, in the music world, old music gets old really fast. So if you don't have anything new and fresh, you know, you're not going to get anywhere. And oh my gosh, it hasn't even been a year since I've been into indie, and I've been getting multiple songs a month done. I just feel like I've stacked my catalog full of these. And the talent in this community is crazy so yeah it's it's just the opportunities here are like nowhere else yeah I'm so I mean I love your story so much because it literally was less than a year ago where you were like I haven't made new music I'm a new mom like <laughs> I, I don't live in LA or Nashville like it's over for me and you have like what like you you submit a song your voice is on everything your voice is amazing your top lining is only getting better and better every single time I hear a new song of yours it's like on the next level and it's just such an example like Ty's experience it doesn't take very long like it, when you start to show up and you have like a community that keeps you on track and you have people to bounce stuff off of and resources like it doesn't take very long to get back in it and I certainly know that feeling of feeling like detached from it or feeling like, you know, I, I missed my opportunity. Like, I, you know, that was a dream. I got to let that go. And to be like, I'm like three months away from being right back on track, getting the right equipment, working with people again, like feeling like I'm a part of it all. And so anybody who's watching this, it's just like, you're so close, like, you know, just show up, surround yourself with the people who are doing it and get in there with everybody because it's all here for you. And there are, you know, as, as Mo said, everybody's welcome here, but it does take showing up, which you have done, you know, in spades. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. But the support here, I mean, you're not going to find support like this anywhere else. I've never found it. And um, yeah, it can happen really fast. I, I had 
I started at the end of 2022 and I had a goal to, you know, have some songs signed by agencies in 2023 and it happened in 2022. And, you know, it just keeps happening because of all the opportunities that were given here. So it's crazy. <laughs> you beat For the me, when goals. That's awesome. Anybody else want to chime in with this? I'm also so inspired by your story, Gabrielle, <laughs> and what you've been, uh, what you've accomplished in such a short period of time. It's been amazing. I just wanted to say, uh, for me, when I think about two years ago, um, I'm really happy with how I've gotten over some of my fears and anxieties around the admin part of film and TV. Um, that's what I really dove into in music licensing um, over COVID, because I really just did not have a handle on it like I wanted to. And I just did not feel comfortable putting myself or my songs out there without kind of understanding the business side of things that is so important in film and TV. And I have much better handle on it now. So now that I'm now I'm the one in like a, a co-writing group to go to, I'll do the split sheets. I'll take care of this. I'll take care of, you know, and kind of answering questions. And I'm still learning every single day. And I still don't pretend that that's my, you know, my strong suit or my favorite thing to do because it's not, but I've gotten over some of my aversions to it. Um, I've gone from like being really skeptical of disco to like loving disco as a tool. Um, so there's that lane. And then there's the other lane that, um, you know, in, in terms of just collaborating, I think, Sonnet, you and I were talking about this the other day, you know, kind of going from being a one man, <laughs> one man's shop to collab to finding more people to collaborate, um, to collaborate with and, and starting to build teams where I can respond to briefs quickly and um, kind of finding my people and finding my strength and what I have to offer and um, and, and that's a trial and error thing. And it just takes time and it just takes, and it just takes time. So this community is the best though, for both those things, the kind of admin education piece that is so important. And then the collaboration piece those for, to me have been the biggest kind of growth, growth areas. And I have a lot um, to thank to Indy for in those areas, both. Well, we so appreciate all your hard work and and just like seeing through that those challenges and and then now you're in just a totally different place when it comes to those things. It's just been really impressive to watch. It's just I'm going to use that word a lot today. Impressive. I feel like everybody. That's your word. <laughs> everybody up on this stage has been like really impressive. And yeah, that's true. Of camp champs. You know, it's like really like the people in base camp that have really like there are so many people that we could have brought in here too. I will say that like, our, we have a large community of people certainly. that are certainly worthy of being up here on this stage, but uh, you all are just like such shining examples of like learning what it is you need to learn, connecting with each other and just doing, doing, but also doing with purpose, finding that purpose behind it all that is in complete alignment with what you're trying to accomplish in your music career. It's just, it's, it's amazing to see uh, those things all get connected together. It's amazing. One to of see the things with mu music industry, you know, it's like, there's not like a clear path. And what I love about your share, Mary, is just, you know, a few months ago, you were like, I'm putting out the intention of, you know, having the teams writing with up and coming artists and like, setting these goals and having a support system to kind of start down the road of letting that unfold but showing up for that unfolding because it's not a formula it's like that's the hard thing or the thing about music that I think is you don't just go to college become a musician and then you can get your job and then you're like you know going to be set for life it's really this windy road of trying some things meeting some people connecting and staying in that flow and I really like you have you literally said those words, I team and like writing with up and coming artists and you're writing with some of the very best up and coming artists and you have incredible teams. And that wasn't very long ago that you put that intention out there. Um, so it's just, it's, it's amazing to see how, when we kind of like allow ourselves to go down the windy road with intention, with support, with resources and really keep showing up for that, what is possible. And I love to hear those updates because it's it really is inspiring for every person to remember that because sometimes you hit those walls and you're like, ugh, you know, like this is hard. And then you remember like, I'm not alone in this. Like what's another, you know, where's the window? Let me try another thing. And we keep finding our way because we're we're made to be making music. And that's why we're all here. So I, I love, love that you just said we're not alone. Like that, that's the thing. This community is educational, but it's also, we all support each other so fiercely that um, even though we're all over the world, really, 
um, so many of us have actually seen each other in person once, twice, several times. Like we, we, we have connected that closely that, you know, you think, oh, it's not a real friend on Zoom, but you know what? We're the same people when we see each other in person and it's incredible. And it's like, you just want more of that. And then you go back to your little square on Zoom and you're like, when can we see each other again? And it's, I mean, it's all, it's just such a tight knit community of you really, like Sana just said, like, like you're not alone. Like if I get stuck on something and I'm like, I can't finish this song. I don't know what to do with it. I thought it started out well. I have like a pile of people in different genres that I can reach out to and be like, hey, do you want in on this? I'm stuck. And that's an incredible feeling that, again, I never could have imagined to have. And kind of like Gabrielle said, like, even when I lived in L.A., I did not have this kind of community. I did not have this many people and this many friends in the music industry. I didn't. I was there. I was doing it. It didn't it didn't matter. And everyone was doing their own thing. So it wasn't like everyone supporting and helping each other out like this has been, which is pretty incredible. I love that. I love that. And, you know, you touched upon something that's, I feel is like there's, there's many things that are keys to success and sync. Some of it's like, like you were saying, letting go of your ego. If there's something you need, like lean on the people that you know, that can do the job and build those relationships. And a lot of times a new brief is just a opportunity to make a connection with somebody that you never had met before. And you get an exciting opportunity to work with somebody talented and new in a different direction than, than you have skills for, or uh, it's just maybe not like a hundred percent your wheelhouse. So you can stretch and do all those things, but it's sometimes it's best to like, oh, okay, I, I definitely need to work with this person. Uh, so, so given those opportunities, those things can happen just naturally. And that for me is like definitely one of the things for me in licensing that's it's, it's like being able to connect and collaborate with others. One of those things that can help you find success in sync uh, kind of leads me into the question. The next question I'd like to ask everybody, which is what are the most important things to you to finding success in sync as an indie artist, songwriter, or producer? You know, we talked about collaboration here. Are there any other important things that you find when it comes to finding success in licensing? And, and I also want to welcome, uh, warmly welcome Rebecca. Rebecca, would you like to unmute and give a 15 second uh, elevator pitch yourself? And, and if you want to answer the question too, that'd be great. Sure. Hi, Rebecca Trujillo Vest here. Um, Osmunda Music is my brand and my band. And I just recently started a nonprofit, um, Pandian Music Foundation. We just are an established 501c3 as early as January. We've teamed up with different partners like 2ND. Thank you, 2ND. Osmunda Music is music that spans from pop to new age and even children's music. And I'm, I'm just loving being an artist and a music creator. And um, you can, you know, pretty much connect with me on all levels musically. Um, I have a recording studio, Earth Star Creation Center here in Venice, California. And um, we've hosted many events and I'm here right now, actually in the car, gonna go do some uh, work on a song. Um, and I love collaborating. It's my favorite thing to do. Um, I've learned so much from people and the most important thing for me is the connection. Um, so I've been trying to find more people locally just because I do need to touch, feel, hug, cry, sweat. <laughs> Sometimes I could do that on Zoom with you all, but. And also, I still collaborate on Zoom, but I, I, so my elevator pitch kind of is also very heartfelt. Like I, I can't just be, even, even with executives or lawyers or, you know, people like that, I just, uh, I just get really personal these days and direct. And so I feel like they take me serious because I'm, I'm being direct, but I'm also coming from my place of heart and connection. And what I was just talking to somebody the other day, um, and I was, I was thinking, wow, the music industry really might be us, you know, like for the future. Like we're, you think about the music industry completely, continually changing. And we, a few of us agree that we are the music industry. We are the industry. Just like, you know, when people talk about the government, oh, that government, they're taking our taxes. Like we are the government. Like we, let's, let's own that title. So we are the music industry. We are the group together connect, connecting and and collaborating and helping each other out. Let's raise the paddle. Let's, let's move the needle. 
together. Can I can I hop in off what you said? That was like super cool. You said we are the next generation. I, all of the great talent that we have in this community, literally we can put multiple people in our community as like every genre. Like it's, it's crazy because like, the what we have in this community is phenomenal like that that that's that's a good piece that you, that's a bar right there that's a bar like like uh send us a hook alert that's great like we are like right, it's right. crazy because how big our community is with talent like we're bigger than the body size like if we just have 100 or 500 we like hold the weight of millions because of how great we are absolutely and there's a lot of heart and thoughtfulness behind our actions and our intentions and we're not just like gonna push our way like a bulldozer we're 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 there to help each other pick each other up support each other and that's what makes us stronger together you two touched upon so many things that i feel are just really great takeaways from this and for anybody who's tuning into this call just the authenticity and genuine connection between human beings like the goals and intention setting behind all of this the taking ownership and really taking your seat at the table with all of this and also just like as a community like how can we support each other and help each other to grow and help each other to to meet the demand the real demand that's out there right now for music that's easy to clear and can go into film tv ads different media projects so i just it's you all are just like touching upon every single thing that there is in the if there is a success formula for sync it's like i feel like these are things that have to be on that checklist right and also i think just for the music industry like what you said rebecca and ty of just like we are the industry and for so long it's been those are the gatekeepers and we're just trying to get them to notice us and like give us a piece of the pie or like give us a moment of their time and we and then you know the industry kind of went through this wild west experience and you know there's no longer like record sales in the same way and it's really come out to the independent artists having so much more power but with that power we've joined together and we're not just like you know, each out for their own. It's like the power of numbers, as you were saying, Ty, like we, we get to support one another and rise up and really like claim the space of the industry in a way that we haven't been able to do in the past where they were always like gatekeepers or somebody holding the key or you had to look a certain way or, you know, it was like there were so many rules and so many like gates and, and locked doors. And here we get to be like, join hands and take our space as music makers, because that's what we're supposed to do on this planet and this earth. And we see that in one another and we can really like you know, cover more area and with more people because it's hard to do all alone, like take over the world, but you know, all together, <laughs> take over the world a lot better. <laughs> no, what did I hear from you? What, is, yeah, what are you that, thinking? That freedom and sync is priceless. So for so many reasons that we, you guys are mentioning, or like Ty were saying before from like, uploading a song on YouTube here and there and see what happened with that to just, you know, growing so much together. And it's true that sync, the sync world, you need to be like, the pace is, you need to be, you know, making songs nonstop. And, and then when you are at that level, that's great. That's how much I've been learning the last couple of years or the last four years, learning how to produce more uh, songwriting, uh, collaborating. The art of co-writing is is a different animal to like how much you get from that, how much you give and how much you get and learn and your ego and listening and the support, the stuff that your brain never gonna get to the other person is gonna get it. It's super rich. And yeah, I mean, my experience, because I didn't talk in the other, the last two questions real quick is the last two years been crazy because I learned with you guys, uh, with Kathy Heller, uh, 2019, about saying, I was getting, because of my albums and a producer that I have, he, he was getting some placements and I didn't even know what was happening, but I was getting some little placement here and there, but I had no idea what was going on with that. And then uh, when I found Kathy, I was like, this is this is what I want. I was also like, I like, you know, I have my band and I write all the songs and I try to get some gigs, sometimes paid gigs, sometimes not. And I was like, where am I going with this? 
And then I went for it super hard. The pandemic hit and I so hard that I got sick and I had to step out for like a year and a half of like all this because of the screens. I got my neck, my eyes and a fatigue. I still don't know if that's what it was. It makes sense because I wasn't a big computer guy before that, but uh, I was so excited about learning and giving so much work to my brain for all this because that's what I wanted to do. And uh, then I got sick. So coming back from that last year, still recovering, but I'm way better, I'm more active now. Uh, doing the was the best thing because like I need to get back to you know the activity what's happening in the community sport the co-writes all this list of the things that I needed to get back to is what you guys offered and it was just like oh we're so happy you're a part of the community you're just killing it lately it's just the last couple of tracks that have been played in front of agencies we bring in agencies quite a bit into two indie and they've just been like so impressed with your work I remember the last last screening we did, everybody wanted it. They were like that. It was actually one of the standouts from our Get Repped conference, from what I remember, uh, was a track that you submitted. So it's you have shown up so big in sync and and used utilize your amazing gifts in the music industry. It just really makes me want to ask the question of everybody: How do you show up big now? and make the most of your gifts in the music industry versus like maybe how you were before. I feel like there's a, there's a purpose now. It's not like you're, I mean, I'm, I'm speaking of, you know, I don't perform anymore. I don't care to perform anymore. Um, but I, I'm, I was born to make music. I can't, I mean, I just can't imagine not having that in my life. I would lose myself. Um, but having a purpose to do it for, it's still authentic to who I am, but it's a purpose. Like someone needs that kind of music somewhere. And, and then just to, to know that you're not just, you're not doing it for yourself. You're doing it because someone actually needs it is, is huge. A thousand percent. That's huge. And it also makes you listen to music differently, you know, like, you're like how if you can't relate to something when we were talking about you speaking in universal terms or being able to identify ourselves in the stories that other people are telling like it it deepens our songwriting in such a way that doesn't just apply to sync but like across the board so having that purpose of like what am i going to write today or like how can i speak to this group or how can i share this message or how can i really and it's this universal yes it works for sync but it also really you know, speaks to the listener in such a deep way. And your music really does that. I love that you're so, uh, you're, in, everybody's got to go check out, check you out. But, um, you know, it is, it's like in, empowering, it's always powerful. And these are the things that change the world. Like, you know, that's why we're making this music. I love it. Love it. Bigger purpose, bigger focus, bigger tracks, and probably a bigger yeah. impact on the people listening to the music. Um, I, will, I want to chime in. I, I'd like to chime in with Elisa and say, you know, the amount of giving um, that Elisa you you do for people and connecting is is quite incredible, and I see that. And I, you're a good role model for me, uh, as well as well as of course you, Sonnet, and you, John, um, and a lot of our community um, associates as well. And one thing I've been hearing is everyone is feeling slightly burnt out or tired or feeling overwhelmed. I've been hearing that a lot more lately. And so um, I, I can relate. I have this to-do list that keeps growing sometimes and I, I do the best I can. That's what I do. I wake up and I'm gonna do the best I can. I love you, Rebecca. I'm gonna, some people are gonna have to wait a little longer and I'm gonna do my yoga. You know, like that's one thing that I switched recently. I was skipping on hiking and yoga and everything and just I, I will be late to something or I will miss something just partly just so I can get that exercise or that, that tuning in meditation. And I feel like that's the difference between me starting off learning about licensing and where I'm at right now. Um, also, of course, the Pendian Music Foundation's a new thing, but that's, that's another story. But the showing up, wellness, taking care of yourself, giving, receiving, saying yes and then and also saying no when you need to 
that's, that's such that's an amazing mind. answer. Such an amazing answer to how to show up big in the music industry and just to be more generous, to be, take better care of yourself, to live a bigger life than you've ever lived before. And, and allow that to be a part of the creative process and honor that is just, it's a joy to, to embody that day to day the best I can. And also it's such an inspiration to see people like you, Rebecca, who are just living it every day and posting on Instagram about it and <laughs> everybody know. And also just through all the awesome work that you're doing through Pandian Music Foundation, just that generous spirit that you have is just, it's making a big wave in the music industry with, with what it is that you're setting out to do people that you're trying to help. And it is being noticed big time. So by this community and it, sure to be soon uh much bigger audiences around the world so thank you thank you for that uh, yeah and we're just taking one day at a time and doing what best we can as a group as an organization so yes to all all my my the women in our organization and the board um thank you yeah awesome you're amazing amazing rebecca thank you for those kind words but you're like such an inspiration and I love, I love when you said you're a touchy hug feely person when we when we all start to everyone's like just touching and just said it's so nice to touch you just to, you know and the hugs and yeah yeah and yeah. it is so global like I I I don't like to travel and it's made me want to see everyone and made me want to travel I even said to my husband recently I'm like. So when are we going to go to London? Because there's a bunch of people out there I still haven't seen yet from the group. And he's like, where's this coming from? Like, so, <laughs> And it's coming from someone who's like, again, hidden away in my own little studio. And I'm like, but no, I, I got to hug everyone at least once. <laughs> and then again, and then again. So, but that's because of the tight knit community. So um, everything you said spot on and handy and it's just incredible like yeah how many people you're helping so great job yeah we just had you on on wednesday and you did you just rocked it like a oh. rock star thank you. <laughs> thank you amazing thank you so i awesome. love the idea of bringing in wellness as well you know to the conversation because we are constantly looking like for other people's approval, or other people to like the music, other people to sign it, other people to rep it, other people, you know, and when we really come down to like, okay, what do I have to offer? What do I have to say? What are my talents? Where is like, and really build and hone our own skills and our own inner energy. We come from that place and the world just kind of like opens up from that space. And we really can't get there without taking care of ourselves and by setting those boundaries and by being like, yes and no. And okay, like I have a to-do list it's going to be going on for the rest of my life so what do I need to do to take care of myself today so I can best show up so that I can access my creativity so that I can follow through on my you know obligations with other people and my show up creatively in my co collaborations and like we we talk so much about it's not just a do do hustle hustle culture and that is sometimes really celebrated um, but it's also like a be here now, like take care of yourself, show up from a whole place. And that's where we really start seeing that fulfillment, both like with things happening in the world outside of us, but also within ourselves, because we can hustle all we want and we won't necessarily be happy with, you know, great, good results, but we're like dead inside or we really take in each moment and are present for our life. And we also attract amazing people in our lives. And it's just such a, a beautiful piece to bring back to this conversation. So thanks for touching on that. Cause it, it's like the next level, you know, that is the next level. Hustle only it gets is. so far. And on the subject of connection and, you know, genuine connection, genuine attraction through the work that you do through uh, the opportunities that you seize the best you can, and then you see the results from that. And then other people see the results of what you put in and, and are attracted to what it is you're doing creatively. Uh, how has this is a great question, great transition. I feel like how has collaboration, I know a lot of you have touched on this, but maybe some specific examples of how collaboration has played a part in your music career and really helped it to grow. As coming from an artist, um, I never, I never produced tracks or did any of that. Never had the budget to um, get like exclusive beats, people making my beats and stuff like that. So um, like I reached out heavily to try to get producers that was 
even open to, hey, let's collaborate on a split spaces to where we both go 50-50, put our heart in it. And it's not just like, hey, I pay you this much. And then it's like you on to the next. Well, we like build it around each other. And that's just didn't help me out tremendously. It didn't help me find a sound. Like, I don't know. Y'all probably don't know this, but I battle heavily with insecurities. I'm talking about not loving myself, not liking myself. And this experience didn't allow me to grab a confidence that I always longed for. And now it doesn't allow me in that. Cause I, I used to ask people, I used to say, what is my sound? Like, I want to find my sound. Like I hear all of these other artists, I want to find my sound. And I feel like now, like even when I go right, when we have briefs, a lot of times I don't even, like I have the brief in mind, but then when I go to go to doing it, it's like fulfill it without even trying to do it. And it's just, it's just so amazing to have people that's like willing to build around me as an artist, making me feel special and I'm making them feel special. It's just been amazing. I'll say oh, yeah, Ty, you have you have your sound, you have what you are. And I think any producer can meet you and just talk to you for five minutes and know where your sound is going. I mean, it's so authentic. And and as musicians, you know, I think we're we're all kind of insecure. And I've said this on other calls before. It's like, you know, we're the people that write the song so someone else can cry and and get their emotions out. Like, right? I mean, that's what a musician is. And if we didn't, if we weren't able to do that, you know, you have a lot of people out there that what what do you do when you need to listen to a sad song or a happy song or get in the mood for something? So our our emotions are already bigger than life, right? And so I think our insecurities are bigger than life. But the point of this group is that we're all in this together and we're all able to share that. Like when I'm down about something, like, you know, one of my collaborators, it'll take two seconds and they'll be like, what are you talking about? You just did this and this and this and this. So, so what if that didn't work? You know, you still did this and this and this, you know, like we're all rooting for each other. And to get back to your question about the co collaborations, it's not just to get a song done, but it's also for support, peer support and friendship that you never kind of expected. That's just a happy surprise out of it. And you learn who, who to contact for what you, you want to get done, not necessarily for you, but for some bigger, brighter project that can benefit more people. And you know how to, who to, who to send like the food pictures. You take a, you cook a meal, you like it, you know, so you, you end up making them. <laughs> yes. like a, <laughs> now I want to cook thanks to John. Like I'm, 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 I may be really good at production, but you don't want me in the kitchen. Thank goodness my husband likes to cook because <laughs> I always say I have a lot of talents. I feel like I really do have a lot of talents, um, but the kitchen, it's there's none in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> and just, however we connect, it's just it's it's amazing. Like I've I, I've. One of my best friends, uh, we connected on music, but like we play video games uh, all to, all the time together. Like we'll just, uh, and we're buds, but we're also like, it's like, you're so spot on when it comes to like, uh, that there is so much more you get out of collaboration in music that has nothing to do with actually making the music. And a lot of times, and this comes back to the songwriting thing, a lot of times the most interesting song ideas just come from like genuine conversation you have with somebody when you're like on a Zoom or you're like in person. Uh, like I, we all love like writing in person. It's the best, right? Because you can have those genuine conversations. You can kind of just get to know each other. And, and then through that getting to know each other, through that support, and that that building of friendship, there's a creative spark that can come up with it. And it's it's just very special. It's something that I that I, I love. It's like one of my favorite things about making music is is that collaboration and to hear hear you all talking about like how it impacts you. It just gets me excited about uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to the next songwriting session that I have. So it's just it's a, you want more. I don't know if anybody agrees with me there that like you just want to keep doing yes. it over and over and over again. In fact, John, you introduced me to someone recently and that person lives in Pasadena. So I was able to get her twice to the studio and she just, um, we just rocked it. Um, but the first sit down on Zoom, even though she's LA, really was two hour meet, but half of it was getting to know each other. And the other half was one hour song and we're done, you know, and we did it. And so, um, and I feel like the, I learned so much from other collaborators and they bring in their energy and I never know where the song's going to go. Is it going to be, who's going to do what? And it's like something you just kind of, 
figure out as you talk to each other and get to know each other. It's like, um, like what you guys host is that speed, that uh, songwriting, um, dating, you know, kind of like speed, uh, speed songwriting. But, um, but, but collaboration, I feel like what the biggest thing I, I think I get out of it is, is the connection and then the, the messaging I want to share with the world. Like you, some people, somebody just said, you know, we're the ones that make Alisa. We, we're the ones that write the music and people will cry to or laugh to or dance to. And it's so true that I think about that when I'm, when I'm writing music, I want to, I want to know, I think about my listener and the connection. And I think about what I would like in the song and maybe it's not going to tease everybody, but that's where I'm coming from. It's like, who will it, who's the target? And it doesn't necessarily, um, like, I don't, I'm not, I'm, I don't think from, I'm, at least for me, I'm not so strict that I, that it has to be a certain way. It might move towards another way and then I'm fine with it. Cause I'm like, oh, I never thought of it this way. And then the collaboration, hence the collaboration, it, it's some beautiful magic in there and the surprises kind of come out as you finish the song. I just want to touch on this subject really quickly as well, because one of my major goals when I joined to Indy was feeling like I had a team and that's what your collaborators are. They're your team. So the other day I had a Zoom call with some of my co-writers and we weren't writing. We were um, sitting down and coming up with our pitch plans and who was going to email which agency and what songs and and just looking over our, our entire catalog and everything we had written together so far. But, you know, you so uh, so often you feel like you're alone and you just have yourself and, you know, you're your own manager and your own uh, team, you're your own uh, label and you have all this work to do and it's a lot. So feeling like, oh, you know, your co-writers and your producers and stuff, like we can all pitch because we're all working. We all have a common goal. And we're all working on this together. So feeling like you're not the only one sending the emails and, and doing all that is is huge. It really is. You know, you, you touched on a, a lot of just really important things there. I think this is just an amazing conversation about like the the importance of collaboration, not only for support, but also to meet those goals and also to not shoulder the entire burden of what it is that you're trying to accomplish on your own shoulders. I feel like it's a really great opportunity to transition because we're, we're talking about a lot of stuff that's like really about the interpersonal relationships and building that that team, uh, but talking about you know who are the what are the opportunities and connect, opportunities for connection with industry and what can we learn from them? I want to kind of transition the conversation into that space and maybe ask the question: How has learning from sync agencies? Because we bring in Two Indie brings in a, a lot of sync agencies in our licensing base camp community. Every month we bring in a new licensing agency for everybody to connect with, for everybody to get an opportunity to submit a song for a brief that they give. And how is learning from these agencies, and many of you have signed rep deals, I would argue all of you have signed rep deals through agencies that have come in through 2 Indie. Uh, how have those relationships helped out your music career? Mary, would you like to, to jump in? With that sure. One? Unless Elisa, you want to add something before you have to run since. Oh, um, well, I would just say that when I started out, um, I, this is now we're going, we're two and a half years, I guess, before I started working with John and Sonnet, um, I did have a few songs that were licensed to some nonprofit organizations. So I, I, I had some licensing stuff done, but nothing like big in the real world, like significant <laughs> and I didn't have anything signed and now everything I write is signed and then as soon as I write something I, I send it off and um but you know it's it's only because of two indie and John and Sonnet and starting out learning and and sh as Sonnet said showing up you know it is about showing up you can you can be given all the knowledge but the support team is here to help you implement all the knowledge, implement all the knowledge. And, um, and yeah, it's incredible. I mean, you know, some songs are signed exclusively and they're just, they're there. I can't touch them. And the ones that are non-exclusive, I can still pitch a certain amount of time, you know, to other places and it's keeping up with that. And I loved what Gabrielle said about, you, can't, you have your team meeting. 
that is so valuable. I need to start doing that more with a lot of my songs because they're just out there and we're, we're not, we're, we're so eager to just keep going that that's such an important thing is we have learned how to keep up with it and how to, um, you know, not let things slide through. And it's being able to do that and implement it, which is what you're saying about your team. So I got to get on that. <laughs> it's always, we're always learning and we're always improving, but we're always doing it together, which is incredible. Um, you're always welcome to join our call whenever you want. <laughs> we, we really sit and we strategize and then we talk for like the next hour about you include our, me so. you include me because I mean I'm yeah I'm good with the admin I'm, stuff but then I then then like 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 this morning I had so many other things I was supposed to get done but when someone gives me a project and says it's kind of like um when someone says do you think you could have a production done in two weeks well hell yeah I'm gonna get that done this morning for you so it's like a challenge and then everything else that I was supposed to be doing was not done so yes, include me in one of those. That'd be wonderful. You got it. <laughs> I, I say that I say also to the confidence level, once you once you sign in with the agencies and you get to know them, they're people too, and they could be kind of friendly as well. So you get to know them and you hang out with them and maybe you go bowling with them. By the way, I got like the worst bowler prize with Elaine the other night. Just FYI. We were talking about like our gifts and what <laughs> we're good at. Don't, 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 don't. Don't put me on your team with bowling unless you want to get the prize for the worst team, which I got the best prize, by the way. But but what, going back to the agencies, they're golden. They, they you know, you can hang out with them sometimes, even if you don't like they maybe they'll send you briefs. Maybe they'll take all your songs. It's just a confidence booster. And also, too, you want to you want to make them happy. So the more that you give each other the exchange. And by the way, these are the these are these are specifically agencies that I, I that I got from the one that I'm talking about in particular I got from two indie so it was like a really big it was the first get rep and since then this agency has taken so much of my music and so I'm just super excited about that and um and I and I'm not I'm no longer feeling like oh like I feel like I'm like Elisa said like I'm done with the song and then here you go I feel I'm not, I'm there. I just got to get better with my, um, my emails and follow through, but I'm, I'm pretty much there too. I feel like the, and I wouldn't have been able to do that without you, Sonnet, and without you, John, because your coaching and your perseverance and checking up on us and, and just having the, having it open for us to join in, like at any level of, you know, of a base camp or any level, you've allowed everyone to get something out of this just by tuning in and asking questions and listening sessions so thank you for that and I, I I have to give credit to you guys and thank you like um Gabriella said there's nothing else that exists like this like the two of you such wow. a power duo team we appreciate you so much we appreciate all of you here and it's like this this amazing community would not exist without you like this is you are the reason this truly so, you know, it's a right back. Yeah. Out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys really do all show up for each other so fiercely. I love that word that Elisa brought to the table. You know, it's really like we are here to help all ships rise. And John and I get the honor of kind of just like ushering, you know, holding, holding that space, putting a container together. But really, it's just all of you showing up and inspiring one another and really taking those opportunities and running with them. You know, it's one thing to bring something to the table, but if you do nothing with it, it's left. You know, they say that one of the biggest things is like people don't follow up and you we have a community of follow uppers like you guys follow up and you follow up again and you can see the results and all of that so really thank you for taking the time and sharing your insights and your just your growth and your hearts because it really comes down to that as music makers we get to share our hearts through our music and when we can share that in a big way on a big screen um you know that's that's the that's the jam. That's the ticket. Cause then we really feel like what we're making is being heard and it matters. And it does, the world really does need everybody's music here. And looking at each of you and the amazing music you make. Thank it's you so amazing. Today, the, the quality of the music that's being made. And like Sonnet was saying, the follow through the, the understanding how the agencies work, the understanding the people behind the agencies and, and the etiquette behind it all. 
is really uh, it's a big part of what we do in licensing base camp and i feel like it's one of the one of the main things is like connecting people authentically with the agencies as they as we create this container where it's easy to understand and learn over time together and be allowed to make mistakes be allowed to send that terrible email allowed to send like 10 emails and then you're just like oh i should have never sent this or it was a broken link or things like that and then and at the end of the day we've all made those kinds of mistakes before it's like, but nobody in base camp expects anybody to do it perfectly. Uh, and that's another thing that I feel is like one of the beautiful things about our community is just that creating that, at least I pride myself in, in the, and I know Sonnet feels the same way about this, like creating that container where people feel like they can make mistakes. They can swing big and miss and then swing big sometimes and hit a huge fucking grand slam. You know, it's like, that's, that's what this is all about. Uh, and that's and- life. It's That's, life, right? Yeah. yeah. Makes it's me think life. of my big mistakes. So I was like, yeah, I've done some of those. <laughs> oh my God, the time that I forgot to be still and instead oh, copied oh everybody. No. They all got the same. They got everybody's addresses. Oh, no. oh I did that once. It so. happens. It happens. <laughs> I've done that too. I've, I've, sent, I've sent the wrong happy birthday to the wrong person with the name wrong. That's the word. <laughs> it happens all the time. We all do it. But I, then I we get to be human and being like, oh, sorry, I'm human. Here I am. Like, nice to see you, yeah, human, yeah. on the other side. Just own, yeah. own our humanness. Like the, those folks haven't made mistakes in their lives either. Oh, and yeah. That's, that's the big thing about this, too, is that it's like finding your space in the music industry. There's a place for everybody. Like Sonnet said at the top of the call in licensing base camp, there's a place for everybody. You don't have to be a certain size, a certain age, a certain whatever it is that that you bring into the table. There's a place for you in the music industry, whatever skill set you have. Are you a lyricist? Are you a songwriter? Are you a producer? Are you somebody who just likes bringing the team together? and executive producing things, there's a role for everybody. And yeah. it, th- th- that's what we're talking about, like the opportunity for people in the, for independent music makers in licensing base camp in the sync world. It's, it's literally endless. Um, perhaps yeah. this has been an amazing conversation. Uh, yeah. I just want to like close out with one last question. We, we appreciate you all so much. And, and this is just something that feel free at Mary, maybe I'd love to hear from you uh, on this one. What advice would you give to anybody who's interested in learning more about sync and how to have their music repped for opportunities in ads, TV, film, and other media? <laughs> it's a 30 second commercial for go for two indie. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, I mean, no, I'm going to back up and say, first of all, it's all about mindset, like approach this with a sense of curiosity, a sense of being of service, of not taking stuff personally, um, of, of making connections and again, and, and knowing that it's a long game and it's not an, not kind of to what your point was before. It's an interesting journey between point A and point C and point B may not be the point may not be the point between point a and point b you may go to point a point three point six point you know and and just kind of um embrace the journey but kind of back to what we were saying before is like showing up you know i think it's just like showing up no matter where you're at with you know with that sense of curiosity um sense of openness um what was your question (laughs) <laughs> uh, being absurd, you know, just again, that mind to me, it just all comes down to mindset and relationships. Um, and using the valuable resources that you have here. I mean, kind of back to your point too about industry people. I just was going to say, I'm a big fan of Boost, your Boost program. Because to me, it's just that like showing up repeatedly with these people that get bombarded daily by hundreds of strangers. You're not a stranger when you're meeting with somebody over four weeks. You establish a sense of trust and a sense of integrity um, and a relationship. So now I'm on an email relationship, you know, carefully chosen, you know, with people. So when, you know, like the um, sync agent reached out to me yesterday and said, hey, I love your song from the last you know, sampler, he may have reached out to me if he didn't know me from Boost, but I feel like because we have that existing connection and that existing trust, he was able to kind of easily kind of know who I am, know who he's talking to, know what I'm about, you know, know he's already got a few songs of mine and just, it just makes things easier um, on both, on both ends to have that existing relationship. And it just, that's the only thing that comes with, 
you know, between time, it, it comes with time and with repeated exposure. So that's why I'm a big fan of the boost, just getting to know. And it get, to me, it gets back to that sense of being of service too. You get to know, oh, how can I be of service to this unique person who wants something different than this other unique person who wants something different than this other unique person? Um, and how can we be resources for each other? Um, I don't know if that answers your question, but I feel that's great. Um, but again, to Indy just provides this platform and provides this palette um, that we as artists, we as painters can kind of dip our brushes in and decide, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to use this as a collab. I'm going to use this as a resource. I'm going to get song feedback from freaking John and Sonnet who are just like gurus at that. To me, that is just gold so much value in your song feedback and just being able to take that sometimes say yeah i don't believe that i'm going to go with it as is <laughs> or other times go oh yeah this is the fourth time i've heard that i'm you know i'm going to address that i mean i've learned so much from that so again i you know i come back to two india as a resource for all those things for connections with industry for improving my songs for connecting with potential collaborators potential resources i mean i was like calling up elisa the other day about an admin question I had, you know, so I have this like inner Rolodex now, like, okay, you know, song feedback, oh, John is on it, uh, da, 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 admin, like, who can I ask, like, specific, you know, question about a specific agency, oh, I happen to know from the chat that so-and-so has songs with this agency, I'm going to reach out to them, so I kind of have this Rolodex that is just beautiful from 2 Indie that I can use, that's like, it's such a gift, and, and then it comes back to the community and the fun that we all have, so. There's so many things that you just talked about that's like it's literally in our boot camp. It's like check, 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 check the things that you want to do when you're looking to get into sync. You're looking to connect with other people. You're looking to build authentic relationships. You're doing it. You've done it. And it's like it's it's amazing to hear you articulate it, you know. Thank you for anybody else. Anybody else like to chime in this last question? Uh, just for any any advice you'd give somebody who's new to sync, who wants to learn more about it um i'll hop in pretty quick um be fearless and limitless mm -hmm. those are the two main things that i say i've had so many people reach out to me to collaborate and one thing that i just tell anybody reach out reach out there's there's so there's your music has a home even if you gotta work with somebody else to find it because as we create music we feel like it's it's our precious piece so we want to have like full control of how to get it out or, or what to do with it and sometimes it just take that one person saying hey you should do this with it and then it clicked to you like yeah that is the best thing to do but if you never reach out and try to make those connections sometimes you could be stifling yourself so be fear but be confident that's what a fearless thing come be confident and make sure that like i'm gonna reach out to because that's how it started for me like cinder came into a group that i was in and I loved what she did. And I was like, you know what? I like this person. Didn't even know about Sinker. Well, knew a little bit, but really was super fresh. And I was like, I love this person. Let me reach out and just tell her how much I loved what she said. And boom, it just all started from there. So be fearless, like be fearless and limitless. That's my two, two pieces. Hook alert, hook alert. I'd say, <laughs> I, I'd, I'd say like just, two two thoughts like just ty did I, I like the two just two things um i'd say show up with your heart and um also to just be open to you know the magic and the happy surprises that collaborations and that this this all works together with um with you know making music with um joining up with licensing with these communities um just be open to it don't don't be afraid like you know there's that fearlessness but but also if you're coming with your heart and you're coming with just your open-mindedness then anything could happen and you, the, the person you least expected that could you know that could you could collaborate with can be the gem of it all and so they could be the inspiration of so much so you never know who you're gonna you know who you're going to collaborate with and who that person is and what they're going to add to it with your song. So I would say that, that those would be my two open mind and open heart. Love it. Love it. Raul, do you have any thoughts on that? Any, anything you'd like to impart to people who are new to sync? Watch the replay. Everything's here. 
But uh, yeah, I mean, if this is what you love and you're ready to show up, it's so much you're gonna get from it. Like places like Do Indie, because maybe you just want this because you're trying to make money out of it or you were trying to get more exposure, but you're gonna get so much more without knowing when you start getting into it. Or everything we talk about, like all the collaborations, like, yeah, and be believe in yourself. That's, that's really important. Like keep going and be perseverant and things will happen for sure. Yes, yes. I want to give everybody the opportunity to answer this question. So feel free if anybody else has not answered this question, feel free to just jump in. I don't want to put anybody on the spot, but just uh, if anybody has any parting words, we're going to we're going to close up this stream pretty soon. But if you have any parting words for anybody who's brand new to sync to welcome them into the community, uh, I'd love to hear from you. I think it has all been said, but basically join to Indie because I, you're not going to find these opportunities anywhere else. You're just not. I mean, every month we get a brief and at the end of the month we can submit it and Sana and John basically pick like the best of playlist and send it out. And I've been contacted by agents and just automatically have a contract in my inbox to sign. And it's like that easy button. That was easy. Like that, that doesn't happen. Where else is that happening? Nowhere. So put yourself out there, know what you bring to the table and join two indie because the opportunities are priceless. I love it. Thank you. I'm so, so proud of each of you. You guys truly, like I said, we've said it all or mutual admiration club here. Everybody shows up for one another. Everybody is doing the work. Everybody brings something different to the table. And, you know, we are the music industry and we get to really take up that space. So thank you, each of you for being in our lives, for continuing this conversation, for being here today with us. And, you know, we're going to continue to see you. So, yeah. Right. Of you yeah, are thank, so awesome. Thank you. Thank you to all of our base camp champs here. And thank you for everybody who tuned in. Hope you join us in licensing base camp. Uh, everybody gets 30 days for free. Uh, so what's the, what's the hang up? What's the, uh, why are you hesitating? You can try it out for free. If you don't like it, no cancel it time. and, uh, but we hope you join us and, uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. Thank you everybody here and, uh, be talking to you soon. I'm sure. All right. Thank you everyone. Bye. Bye everybody.